Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss some important disadvantage of K-means clustering algorithm, which you should keep in mind while applying this particular concept. Whether uh, K-means you should apply on your data set or not. Okay, you need to judge all these things before applying any machine learning algorithm, right? So let me discuss one very important disadvantage of this particular simple K-means clustering algorithm. So K-means clustering algorithm basically uh, consider the general case. We consider generally Euclidean distance. And if you just try to think about Euclidean distance, it never changes with respect to translation and rotation, right? And can you tell me one uh, geometrical shape which actually never changes with translation and rotation? Yes, that is nothing but sphere. Now, so that, that's what the central point that K means by default understanding that your clusters is going to be spherical shape. If your clusters are not going to be spherical, instead of that some complex geometrical shape it takes, that time your K means clustering is going to fail. Okay. So let us check one uh, that kind of case. Right. So here I what I have done, I have generated a data set using the circle noisy circle i can say here i have taken t that is angle 0 to 2 pi with small increment then taken the parametric equation of circle x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta added some random noise in it and uh, doing scatter plot with red color similarly here uh, see here i have taken radius as 2 now this time i am taking radius as 5 and doing the same so let me just show you two plot in same window one is my red color data set another one is my this green color data set so you can see from the visual inspection itself we can conclude that there are two clusters going to be formed in our this particular data set one is this one another one is this one right now let's apply k-means clustering algorithm on the same and let us uh, uh, check what k-means how k-means is doing the clustering okay so i have concatenated both the data set and doing k-means for cluster value 2, okay, and plotting the uh, data set according to our k means labeling and plotting the centroids, okay. So, the second figure window is basically going to give us the clustering based on k means algorithm, right. So, if you see this output, there is a huge problem. So, let me just make this bit bigger. So, see. This one is actual data set from the visual inspection itself. We can understand what are the two clusters going to be formed. But if you see K means how it is doing, it is making this particular and this portion as one a data set belonging to one cluster and this particular data set and this particular data set belonging to another cluster. Where two clusters are this one and this one. So here you can understand that the K means is basically going to fail. And the main reason is that here our cluster is not uh, spherical type just consider our mall customer segmentation use case how beautifully we were getting small small sectors where uh, basically data points were getting kind of circular uh, spherical shape but here it is not going to happen here this kind of uh, round shape actually clusters is taking if this is uh, going to be one cluster then this particular green cluster is going to be placed somewhere else not one inside other okay this kind of complex if our data set uh, do not take, then k-means might uh, go properly. But here k-means is going to fail. And there is uh, no problem with the code because algorithm is doing its work only. See, what the algorithm has to do, the algorithm has to basically make such kind of cluster position, uh, that is center position in the cluster, that within uh, cluster sum of square, square become minimized, okay? And it is happening here, right? Here, if you consider this particular center point with respect to this, for all this data point belonging to this cluster, the WCSS is very less. For this point also same. So, K-means is working perfectly. K-means algorithm, what it has to do, a random cluster center, it will initially assume randomly and then by several iteration, it will try to push the assumed random centers to the center of the cluster. But here the problem is that the when it try to push the center to the center of the cluster, it will take this kind of shape. And as a result, we are getting this kind of long uh, clustering, right? So I hope you can understand that although K-means is working perfectly, okay, there is pushing the center, 
that is assumed centered initially, whatever it is assuming, to the center of the cluster. But here, this is making problem in detection of the cluster, actual cluster, okay? And it is trying to make the maximum gap in between two clusters also. So, with respect to point of view of the algorithm, it is not wrong. But where we are applying this algorithm is the wrong. This is wrong use case where we are applying. So, remember this, guys, that when you don't have speri spherical structure in data set, now you might uh, uh, think that this is also round step. So this is also spherical. No, I am not talking like this. I am telling that spherical shape means recall our previous video. Okay, let me just show you. See, this one, my previous video, mall customer segmentation. Here if you check, see the clusters. Here, cluster is present. Here one cluster is present. Here one cluster is present. Here one cluster is present. So inside one cluster another cluster this kind of situation is not appearing they are basically centering like kind of square set and that time our k-means is working perfectly but when your uh, data set is going to take this kind of complex geometric set then k-means is not going to work one more use case i can show you this data set also i have created uh, using some geometry computation the whole data set will be posted in the description box if you want you can check there so first let me show you the uh, distribution of the data okay so it is like this see here also complex geometric set this one is belonging to one cluster this one is belonging to another cluster perfectly visible we can uh, easy, easily uh, cluster this data set using our visual inspection but when we are applying our k-means clustering algorithm, see what result we are getting. Let me just run this. Yes. See, this was our actual data set and see how k-means is going to predict our cluster. See, this, it is making the upper part as one cluster and this lower part as another cluster. Trying to make maximum gap in between two center of the cluster and simultaneously it is trying to minimize the within cluster sum of square difference also okay i hope you can understand uh, from this graph itself that cluster uh, centers are positioned such that the within cluster sum of square difference become minimized so see each time it is trying to take kind of spherical distribution but when your actual data set is not spherical then the problem appears okay so k means clustering algorithm going to fail if you have complex geometric shape remember this guys this is very important vital part before applying k means clustering algorithm you must have to take care of this particular issue right both the codes and the data set will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check that thank you for watching